May the 16th, 2023. Guys, got an important video, but let me say this. Uh, you're looking at the CD, the guitarist inside. They just came in today, UPS. So all of you guys that pre-ordered, thank you for it very much. They're all going to be packaged up this afternoon. They're going out first thing in the morning, and you should have them in a couple of days. Guys, the sound quality is excellent. They're uh, digitally mastered on this CD. It's not a compressed uh, MP4 file that you get on YouTube. They're, the, again, they did an excellent uh, job with them at Disc Makers, top of the line company. But uh, they're going out now, guys. If you don't have one, go to our website, click on the top left link. It says the guitarist. You can go there. And order this new CD or any of the F, uh, first two. So just want to get that out there. Now for the important part. As we got a debt ceiling that's about to hit us in less than two weeks now. By June 1st, the Biden administration and the Republicans have to come together and put out an outrageous new debt ceiling or either we're going to be forced to borrow money if we can now. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot that happens if they don't reach this. Now, you got McCarthy in there, and I don't trust him at all. He's a rhino, and so I don't know what they're going to do. But economists are talking about things that could happen if they don't come to some agreement. Now, Janet Yellen was just saying the other day she doesn't know who is going to buy the debt this time. We know we owe China a lot of money. People are looking at our banking situation. It's not good. But some of the things they're talking about that could happen, one would be federal workers would be furloughed. Social Security checks for seniors are on hold. Soaring mortgage rates, a global financial system sent reeling. Now, we know they're getting ready for the reset, and then four weeks after this deadline, we go into full-fledged Fed now and the Fed card. And guys, the Fed now set up for the Fed card is one button away. All they got to do, and what they're doing now is tying what you have in your bank accounts and savings. And if you don't think that the credit unions are going to get hit, you're sadly mistaken. But they've got it set up now to when on that day, when they're ready, they're going to push one button. You'll get a notice that now you have digital credits, but your cash is worthless. And that gives them full control. That's what they want. But it says leaders from Congress and the White House are trying to forge an agreement to lift the federal debt ceiling. With only a few weeks before the Treasury Department may no longer be able to avert an unprecedented U.S. default. If they fail, guys, and doesn't it seem like with what Yellen and um, the Fed are all doing, that group, that they want something bad to happen for the reset? And it says it, it would be a lethal combination, says Mark Zando, chief economist at Moody's. If they fail and the government can't meet its payment obligations, economists and financial expert, uh, experts predict chaos. He said, you can see how this thing could really uh, metastasize and take down the entire financial system, which would ultimately take out the economy. Janet Yellen is saying the agency may only be able to sustain operations until June 1st before running out of money if the government can't borrow more. That specific deadline, known as the X date, depends on tax revenue and spending, which could fluctuate dramatically from week to week. Guys, uh, Home Depot reported the worst uh, earnings report in 20 years today people aren't buying they're seeing that the credit cards are all maxed out and what happens next they're saying is going to be hard to predict but the cascading impacts of a default would probably compound a pause in federal payments would hurt the economy which would hurt the stock market which would in turn hurt the economy even more and so on the interactions between collapsing home values rising interest rates and destabilized global financial systems are hard to calculate. Some estimates suggest that more than 8 million jobs could be wiped out. Mortgage rates might soar by more than 20%, according to some projections, and the economy would contract by as much as it did during the 2008 Great Recession. Now, we have a couple hundred thousand 
armed IRS agents out there now. They just hired 80,000 more uh, last year. So we don't know how that will play out with when they say depends on the taxes collected. And the economists are stressing above all else, it's the unpredictability, particularly if the breach lasts for weeks or months. Experts stress that the worst case scenarios are unlikely if lawmakers only narrowly miss a deadline, perhaps by hours or even a few days, but that the risk rise dramatically should the standoff persist. We do not know this has never happened, said Claudia Sham, a liberal economist who worked at the Federal Reserve. What makes me so concerned is I can't sketch out, and I don't think anyone can, what happens at X plus one. That means if they don't get this date nailed down, if they can't borrow the money, what will they do? Wall Street would probably be the first trouble spot. So far, financial markets haven't swung much over the debt ceiling standoff. The price to hedge against a U.S. government default has risen, as has the cost of government bonds due around the debt ceiling deadline, reflecting doubts about repayment. But those tremors are not noticeable for most households. That is expected to change the closer the government gets to a default. The shock of a mispayment would ripple across the financial system, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, derivatives, before spilling out into the broader economy. Stocks would likely plummet on the expectation of a wider economic downturn as interest rates rise and investors pull funds out of the market to preserve their access to short-term cash. A banking sector already wary of making new loans could tighten up further. The last time the U.S. government neared default, stocks took a bruising. In 2011, the X date was less than a week away during a standoff between Obama and Republicans in Congress. Major indexes fell roughly 20%. Moody's analytics had estimated that stock prices could fall by roughly one-fifth, wiping out $10 trillion in household wealth and devastating the retirement accounts of millions of Americans. It sounds like exactly what they want. The White House has estimated that the decline would be closer to 45%. The $46 trillion bond market would also tremble as the values of existing Treasury bonds collapse due to higher yields on new ones, and businesses would likely halt expansion, driving stocks down even more. Then if it persists, the impact would quickly spread from the financial markets to the broader economy, you and me. A drop in household wealth across the country caused by sell-off of Wall Street would reduce consumer spending, which would hurt businesses too. Guys, again, look at what Home Depot did today. And, in, and the spike in interest rates would make it harder to get a loan or start a small business. That could also crash the already cooling housing market. It says a recent report from Zillow projected that a default would drive mortgage rates up about 8% and push housing sales down by a startling 23%. The construction industry and other sectors would feel the pain too. And Home Depot's doing it. They're saying that people are not buying this summer like they were last summer on the bigger ticket items, that their credit cards are maxed out and nobody's loaning money. The most dramatic impact might be a pause in regular federal payments to tens of millions of American families including seniors on Medicare and Social Security and people relying on food stamps. Guys, think about uh, the promises that have been made to the folks coming over the borders. And uh, if that reset happens with the Fed now, how will that uh, work out? You know they've just passed a bill to, in one state that if you... If you have a loan, or you borrowed money on your home, you have a mortgage, that rate is going to go up so that they can pay for people that don't have good credit. Now, could this lead to the same thing again with what's happening on our borders to where when they hit that button and everything is digital, a lot of people's money is leveled out across the entire spectrum. Do you understand? It's called socialism. Guys, you're going to have to keep an eye on the next few weeks and uh, going into July also. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.